Hello guys, welcome back to DSFR. Today, I'm going to be talking about the um, Dirk Stepan trade, him going to Arizona, and everything else about it. So, um, today, uh, this is the last trade, the last couple of hours, uh, like a flurry of trades, man. There's just a bunch of them. Um, there's like four, like, four in a couple of hours, and it's pretty crazy. I didn't end up knowing until, like, I'd say 30 minutes ago, and I mean, I just... I'm just going to be cranking out these. This is going to be the last one of the three. Um, and I might make a video on why Arizona is contending. And I'm going to be telling you about why I'm going to make that video. But um, let's get started at, at the greedy details here. So Arizona is acquiring Dirk Stepan for Ante Ranta. Um, and New York Islanders, or, <laughs> New York Rangers are crying first round pick. And Anthony D'Angelo for 2017. Now, that's the important bit. 2017 first rounder for Arizona. So that's a pretty, I think it's like 7th, I'm pretty sure. That's a pretty high pick. Um, you can get a great player there. Um, and Anthony D'Angelo, which is a pretty decent defensive prospect in my mind. Um, now, um, I don't know what New York is doing. Yes, these are two good pieces, good potentially young pieces. But... New York Rangers aren't in that position, or shouldn't be in that position, of doing this. Um, this is a very weird trade for New York to make, because they're losing their great backup, and they're losing their great first, potentially sec potentially first, second line, or second line center. I don't know what New York is doing, unless they have something planned in free agency, or another trade plan, which I think might be the case, but um, I don't know... I don't know really what they're doing. If they don't have anything lined up, if they don't have anything planned, this is stupidly terrible for New York. Like, you should use these in the last couple of years of Longquist's per not prime, but of uh, him actually being in the NHL, unless they're going for a like really quick retool, like, real quick. Like, I don't know. It's it's confusing. Um, are they trade? Stepan mostly, but it's still anti ranch are their best back best backup they've had in years probably. Um but man, Arizona. Um if you're going for it right now, I'll just say it. I mean, you might as well confirm it now. You're go you what what have you acquired? Yalmerson, you've gotten Stepan and now Ranta. Those are you got you've got two good goalies. You've got because you got um they're probably gonna make my answer their starter. Have Chen Johnson. They're probably gonna split a split about 50, 30 games or 40, 40. Um, that's a good tandem right there. Chad Johnson and Anzi Ranta. I like what they're doing there. Um, and having Stefan here now as their first line center. Uh, maybe they resign Hansel. And I don't know, man. Arizona might be looking good next season. It, it's it's a weird thing. And this all happened after they fired their coach. So I don't know. What was going on there? Um, maybe they're scared of Owen Tippett denying it or something. I I, I don't understand. But um, <clears throat> this is if it, I mean this is good if they make it. If they don't, this is bad because they're losing a pretty high first round pick and Anthony D'Angelo, which I think will be a great top four D man for New York in like three years. Um, but that that's the that's a problem. In three years for New York. In three years. You can't do three years. Um, you don't have a goalie. You don't have a goalie past that. Unless someone decides to be ageless and um, starts playing beyond that, which I don't think will happen. Um, but it's a weird one, definitely. It, it, it's um, it, it's, it's going to be weird to see New York, because they always give up their first rounders. It's going to be weird to see New York picking that high up. Um, it's going to be interesting to see who they pick as well. Um, but Anthony D'Angelo, I think, will be a great player for them in three or four years. Um, but it's a tough thing they have to give up for Arizona, but I think they're going if they're going for it, which I think they are with these trades, um, it's a good move by them. So, um, Stepan's, um, Stepan's going to be pretty good for them, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I thought D'Angelo was going to be a future pairing um, with ekman Larson. I mean, they had lots of defensive prospects that they can still could move they have chicharin um they just still decide to move them um which i don't think they will but 
Um, they still need to have some prospects, but um, if New York is really going into rebuilding mode, uh, I guess that's the right move to make. I mean, I don't know why they would, but it's it's weird. Um, it's a weird trade. Um, and if there is any more trades happening today, I will fill you guys in with another video. Um, you guys have made it this far. Make sure to leave a like. If you guys really enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.